Norma Schmidt's house is surrounded by turbines. In 2003, there were only 10 wind turbines in Ontario. By 2012, there were 1,200. And that number is expected to double in the next few years. The government is rushing to reduce the reliance on coal by investing in green energy. So what we're doing here together is building an exciting new clean energy future for ourselves and our children. And what could be cleaner than wind? The best locations for wind farms are the open spaces, but the turbines have to be close to the electrical grid. In Ontario, that puts them among family farms, and the turbines have gone up with little research into health impacts. That's created a giant rift between those who support wind power and those who don't. I thought green energy, wonderful. We're going to help the environment. This is going to be good for everybody. It's going to be a win-win situation. But when you're kept awake one night, okay. You're kept awake two nights, okay. But then it's one week, and then it's two weeks, and then it's three weeks, and then it goes into months, and then it's a year. That tells its toll. As far as I'm concerned, they're, they're doing their job. They're, they're producing power for other people. Some of that power came off my land, which makes me feel good. People ask, you know, whose windmills are those? Well, I say they're mine, because they feel like they're mine, they're part of our place. You know, if you have three turbines on your land, uh, you're looking at $30,000 a year, which for a rancher or a farmer, that's a, a, something that, that helps to, to boost your family income. The real question is, do wind turbines cause Noise, yes. Do they cause sleep deprivation? Yes. Is sleep deprivation a problem? Well, of course it is. Well, therefore, we have a completely plausible chain of causation here. The wind approval process in Ontario was rewritten in 2009 to make it easier for wind developers. It's still pretty stringent. They need to prove that the turbines won't harm the environment. But there have been no extensive human health studies in Ontario. 